All right, welcome to Grassroots Healing, being masters of your own health. Today I'm gonna to show you how to make a uh, little bit of oven baked codfish. You can see that I got my cutting board laid out already with the fish prepared on there. And all this preparation that I did right here took probably about 15 minutes, maybe, if that, I'm not sure. All I did was uh, I got a shallot, which you see right here. Also got some garlic, two cloves minced right here. Uh, this was my first way of trying to zest some lemon. I just took this peeler right back here, peeled some off the back of the rind, and then tried to chop it up. Although, what I normally do when I go to zest any uh, type of fruit is I'll take the blade of the knife and then I'll gently scratch it across. You can see I already did it right here. And then you can see the lemon zest right there on the edge of the knife. I've already put some in this little pile here. But this is my base, this is thyme, fresh organic thyme. So this is my base that is gonna be for my sauce. So uh, it's pretty much a, a, t a tablespoon of the chives. Well, I haven't actually cut those yet. Um, I'm gonna use green onion instead of the, what they call chives, but a uh, tablespoon of fresh parsley, which I don't have, and I didn't feel like running to the store to grab it. So we're not gonna have parsley unless I got some in the refrigerator, but I don't know if I do. Do have thyme, fresh thyme, also got fresh garlic, shallot, and then the zest, and uh, we're gonna use three quarters of cup of coconut milk, and then we got six tablespoons of grass-fed butter right here. And I use Kerry Gold. This is the salted kind, the gold box. Right now I've got uh, my pan. It's kind of slightly warm. Because what we're going to do is we're going to sear the fish in here with all the uh, sauces. And uh, probably two minutes each side for those four fillets. And then we're going fi to finish it off in this glass jar in the oven. And we're baking it at 400 degrees. And we're probably going to do it at seven minutes and then take it out. And that's it. Right now I'm just trying to get... The last of the coconut oil. This way it'll give my fish a nice coconut flavor. And the coconut milk we're gonna use is a brand so delicious. I've got the unsweetened vanilla coconut milk in there. Um, so for now, I'm gonna go check on that parsley. I'm gonna finish zesting off this rind of this lemon here. And uh, I'm gonna salt and pepper these fillets and probably brush them with a little bit of avocado oil and uh, yeah and then we'll um, pick back up whenever I've got everything in the pan so hang on all right my hands are wet with lemon juice and I don't want to touch my camera but I will show you this is all the uh, lemon zest on the end of the knife blade right there from zesting the half of that lemon I'm trying to get the focus in on it so you can actually see the texture it just looks like grated ginger but it's lemon and uh, I can't, that's the best I can get on my focus on my camera there. I'm just using a Galaxy Note 9, so nothing fancy. All right, so what we got here is just some uh, thinly sliced, diced up zucchini. And we're just uh, sauteing it, pan frying it, whatever you want to call it, right here in a cast iron skillet. We're using a little bit of uh, coconut oil, garlic. dash of turmeric, salt and pepper. That's what we got left over when it's cooked. Toss it in this to make it a lot easier to marinate in the bowl. So yeah, basically this is, uh, what's taken so long is, I'm the only one cooking. I don't have any helpers in here. Helpers are your best friend. If you've got someone that can help you, wife, neighbor, whoever, son, daughter, uh, Instead of having them come in here and ask what's for dinner, tell them to grab a knife and chop away or cook away because you can always be doing something else to speed up the process. Um, and so I'm having to kind of do, I'm having to stagger these out so I don't burn anything. Uh, that's just kind of the things you run into. Now I, I can cook multiple things at once, but the zucchini squash takes the longest because I'm sauteing it. And since I'm doing so much, because I'm not cooking for myself, I'm cooking for four. So if it was just one or two people, yeah, I could get away with doing this. So this whole process, cooking the vegetables, because a fish will only take 10 minutes. Fish, especially white fish, cook so fast. The white fish is going to be seared on each side for two minutes, and then I'm going to throw it in the oven and bake it at seven minutes, and then voila, it's done. Um, 
my garlic butter sauce. Uh, the butter should be finally melted, so I'm going to add in all those seasonings right here. And uh, this is what the bottom of the lemon looked like after I zest all of the rind off, pretty much. You can see it's bare. Then we got our lemon zest, our shallot, our ginger, our thyme. Our fish is salted and peppered. And um, we're going to throw that bad boy in this skillet right here, which is coated with raw organic olive oil, or excuse me, uh, coconut oil by Nutiva brand. Uh, when I do use olive oil, I didn't show you all this at the Whole Foods Health Food Store tour. Uh, I use Bragg's. Um, I love their seasonings. I love their olive oil. I love their apple cider vinegar. I've got it too, right here. Uh, their olive oil, it's unrefined, unfiltered, has a harvest date, and it's first cold pressed. Extra virgin. Really, really good stuff. Um, and then their sprinkle, which is really good too. This stuff right here is uh, bomb. It's 24 herbs and spices into one little bottle here. Let's see if you can see all that. And uh, I sprinkle this on everything, from salads to fish to chicken, and it makes your dish like mwah, really, really good. So we're about to flip these bad boys right here, so they don't turn out like uh, burnt chips like all these did. But the good thing about the burnt chips is they add a lot of great flavor. So when you got a whole bunch of zucchini squash, if they all don't turn out looking like burnt potato crisps, well then, mixing them around a couple and you get that one that's just slightly uh, burned. Mmm, really good flavor, really good. So I'm gonna flip these and I'll get back with you in just one moment. All right, so when it, when it comes to cooking with oils, I, I don't use, um, Crisco, I don't use vegetable oils, I don't use sunflower oils, I don't use safflower oils, I don't use uh, yard, <laughs> uh, lard, I don't use lard, definitely don't use yard for sure. And um, I mainly use coconut oil because it has the MCTs, it's, uh, the, well the main reason is not for the MCTs, those probably cook off, I don't know, but I doubt it. It's got the lauric acid, caprylic acid, capric acid, but the reason why I love using that because it has a high smoke point, meaning I can saute or fry with it at higher temperatures than I can with olive oil or these other vegetable oils that I think are bad because they're super high in omega-6 fatty acids. And when you have an overabundance of omega acids flowing through the body, uh, it becomes inflammatory. So that's why you always hear in circles of health uh, or the medical community or the holistic health community, whatever community that talks about health and fitness and health and wellness is you want the ratio of omega-3 to omega-6 because the stupid American diet, uh, standard American diet, the SAD diet, whatever you want to call it there, they, uh, predominantly all people, uh, eat a diet that's got omega-6s in the ratio to omega-3 of 400 to 1. Our Western diet is saturated, pun intended, with omega-6 inflammatory acids. So that's why it's bad. Omega-6 essential oils I mean, I'm sorry, essential fatty acids are good, but only in the uh, right quantity. You know, you can't have too much of those because they do become inflammatory, and that's the problem that we see. And I'm going to flip these because they're probably pretty much done, and then we're going to get back to you in just a moment. All right, coming back at you. So, cooking, it's its fun. Uh, I've been in restaurants in... Uh, oh, man, I don't know, since I was 14, I think. Um, started at a Mexican restaurant picking up trash around the building and they paid me under the table and uh, worked my way into being a busboy and then um, started from the very beginning there and then wound up in fine dining restaurants and so the diversity of the restaurants that I've worked in from Brazilian steakhouses to American steakhouses to Asian fusion cuisine uh, four and five star restaurants uh, has literally taught me so many different methods being under so many different chefs different types of food that we can create and the, the best part is it's fun and it's healthy so the reward is the best part about it at the very end that's the greatest thing because you put vitamin L what's vitamin L love that's what's most rewarding about this food is you put all the love and all the attention into it so that you get that out of it and that's what makes this delicious and also a healthy treat too all right so here we are with the fish in the pan, we got our sauce in there, so that's just the, all the seasoning that we had 
minced up together, melted it with that six tablespoons of butter. We poured the butter into the skillet first, and then I laid the uh, fillets here on top of that. I'm gonna cook it in that at two minutes a piece there. When that goes off, I'm gonna flip them two more minutes, and then we're gonna bake them right in there in my baking dish here. And we're gonna save that sauce and use the coconut milk to make our cream sauce. And we're gonna ladle that over the fish when it's all said and done. And then here's our zucchini. It's all nice and sauteed. We got the last little bit there working. And uh, yeah, should be about done. So once the sauce is done here, we got it in the skillet. We're still gonna use this to ladle over the finished fish. And the final presentation of when it is done looks like this right here. Get the sauce ladled right over it. <clears throat> the zucchini, a little bit of avocado. Probably don't throw some mixed greens on there too. And we got some fresh squeezed lemon over it as well. Well, until next time, enjoy, because I am.